Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about making money with Golem one year on. So last April, so that's April 2018, I started running as a provider on the Golem network. And I did a, a video on how to kind of set it up and get the software running and everything like that. And then I did a few um, update videos. So a few months on, I think I did three months, six months and nine months on, I did an update video sort of going over my uh, results and there were, um, Quite a few kind of problems last year with getting payouts on the network and stuff like that and now most of those have been um have been addressed so everything's running relatively smoothly now but i haven't done an update since the end of the year and a few people had messaged me and said uh, was i still running as a provider um what's happening with the kind of network um could i give another update so this is going to be my final kind of update it's a sort of like this is one year on not just the figures but also i'm going to talk about just very briefly what is golem if you don't know um how to run as a provider uh, my uh, the progress really of the kind of software and the project over the last year i'll go through my real world results so in terms of gnt earned and dollar values and then we'll talk about is it worth uh, setting up and running so for those of you who don't know golem um, it was originally an ico it was one of the um, it was quite an early ico they raised i think somewhere in the region of eight and a half a million dollars and the idea behind it is to set up a distributed decentralized supercomputer so in effect what that means is that you download a piece of software onto your machine you set it up and then you say how much of your um, CPU and kind of RAM and, and this space you want to uh, donate or sort of dedicate to a running Golem and then what happens is that there are requesters on the network so these are people that want work doing so everybody um, sets up this kind of software and it sits there waiting for jobs to come in now the original use case um, and it's the only one still over a year later it's the only one that's running on the network still is a blender rendering so this is a 3d uh, sort of a piece of software that renders 3d images for um, still images and also kind of for videos and obviously it's quite um, CPU intensive or GPU intensive so this was the first use case scenario so what somebody can do if they have um, a job they can upload the job um, in the software that then gets the job gets split up into different uh, into different kind of chunks they get sent out to different providers on the network um, each of those individual providers completes the kind of the the work that's all gets sent back and kind of reassembled and then given back to the requester and the requester pays a gnt which is golem a network token it's an erc20 token so that's basically kind of how it works it's available on windows 10 i think and also on uh, recent releases of Mac OS as well as Ubuntu. Now on Windows and Mac OS you can only uh, use your CPU so only will use CPU. Now on the uh, Ubuntu uh, I think some of the more recent Nvidia graphics cards um, you can um, offer your GPU so that will be um, a lot quicker than using kind of CPU but that hasn't been rolled out unfortunately to uh, the Windows and uh, Mac, OS, Mac OS uh, bits of software as far as I know um, which is a real shame because the vast majority of people running uh, Golem on the network are running on Windows so it'd be nice to see that GPU um, support enabled in the Windows in a later version but if we take a quick glance at the network you can see here stats.golem.network I'll put links to all of these um, the previous kind of videos and and you know the stats and, and the website and how to download and stuff like that I'll put that all that in the description below but you can see we've got currently 226 nodes on the network so that's 226 computers on the network and that has a combined uh, just over 1600 CPU cores so you can see most people are running maybe on average what's that somewhere like six cores on average something like that and then there's this is the amount of RAM and disk space that's available on the network if you do want to have a look at my uh, node it's just called crypto dave you can um, search for it here um i'm not going to rename it so if i am running in the future and you stumble across this video you know at some stage in the, in the future you can always look it up on the stats page see if i'm still running it but you can see here i have done uh, 2191 uh, tasks actually looking at the software which is on running on the machine next to me uh, i can see it's attempted about 2400 so 2400 tasks and about 200 of those jobs have either uh, timed out or errors I think most of those errors uh, occurred in a couple of days last September when I was having some kind of network issues and I seem to get a load of errors all at once and then not many since then but um, if you click on that you can see it's actually running Windows 64 I don't know why that says 32 but I'm donating nine CPU cores uh, 10 gig of RAM 
and 18 gig of disk space and you can um, in the software you can set up how many cores you want to kind of donate to this so I use this machine for other stuff as well so it does mean that if it's running it doesn't um, kill my machine completely but you can have a look at the stats uh, on the network here you can have a look at each of the different individual nodes you can see most people running the latest version 19 uh, 0 0.19.2 few people on the 0 0.19.1 and 0 versions but anyway let's have a look at the progress over the last year so here's my real world real world figures so I've actually been running for just over four uh, 400 days but for a period last year last autumn I managed to check I'm not quite sure what happened but I managed to check the run as a requester only so I wasn't being sent jobs for probably best part of about a month so I think um, it's probably around 380 days that I've been running it might be out by a few days but nothing uh, dramatic so the total earned over that period over those 380 days 533 GNT so that's 1.4 GNT a day and now at today's price so this was the price at midnight last night it was worth just over nine cents 9.1 something uh, cents so that's a grand total of $48.52 um, over those 380 days or about 13 cents a day so um, very very little basically due to the price of a GNT now at its all-time high price according to coin market cap was around $1.15 that would have been about $613 for the year or about $1.61 per day so at its all-time high it would probably have been paying for the electricity uh, for running that machine now this is a machine that I have running 24 7 anyway because it has some staking wallets and other stuff on it so for me it would be running regardless of that and the other thing to mention is that your if you do run as a provider you're not um run it's not like traditional mining where your machine is running flat out 24 7. it only uh spools up the cpu and uses it when a job comes in and that in my um experience is normally just a handful of times a day at most um so the other thing i should also say is that this is not a consistent 1.4 gnt a day it's not like every day you get roughly one and a half GNT there can be days if not weeks between jobs sometimes and then you might get a load of jobs all in one day now if you are running it and you don't get jobs for a while what I tend to find is if I uh, shut down the software open it up again it prompts uh, more jobs to come in so I don't know whether you get um, new nodes that sort of like connect to the network get prompt, uh, promoted to the top of the queue but a lot of people have, have, have noted it in the past and it does seem to be true for me so if I ever have issues with um, you know I look at the software and I see you know I haven't received a job for three or four days then if I just close it down and start it up again then I will generally get jobs within the next sort of quarter of an hour or half an hour so um, as I said if we went back to our all-time high price of around one dollar uh, 15 it would be one dollar 61 a day 612 dollars uh, a year which would um, as I say for most people would pay for the electricity cost anything like that for the machine they were running on um, and then the other thing you um, um, can look at and this is um, in no ways uh, set in stone I'm not saying that the price will go back to its all-time high even let alone more than that but I think um, depending on use cases if we can get a lot more use cases out of the kind of door and stuff like that I don't see any reason why in a few years time we couldn't have a GNT value of somewhere around ten dollars if it was around ten dollars and you kept hold of your coins and that would have been uh, five thousand three hundred and thirty dollars for the year or around fourteen dollars a day which um, I think for vast majority of people would allow them to kind of keep a machine running now I'm not saying um, it's not financial advice I'm not saying that the price will go up this is really um, down to use cases so at the moment it's just blender renderings uh, there was an article I think a couple of days ago about some kind of deal being done with a gaming a company where they would be um, using or uh, making available the golem network uh, to people to kind of render scenes for games and other uh, bits of software for games but I think really um, until we get into kind of um, artificial intelligence and other sort of distributed computing uh, use cases which are, are far broader than just um, 3d rendering I don't think we're going to get anywhere near these kind of prices so it'll be interesting to see what happens I think over the next year as I mentioned I'm running this software on a, a machine which I have run in 24 7 anyway so um, I I don't do it really for, for the money there's no point doing it kind of like revenue wise but I like to support the network it's a project that I really like um, I wish it well I hope it, it, it does well I really hope we can get some uh, additional kind of use cases uh, onto the platform uh, my worry is that you know it's been well over a year of running the kind of beta software it took a, 
a large amount of time, best part of nine months before the payouts were sorted. Um, and we've had no indication of any real kind of like kind of progress. Um, it's been a year of basically getting the software to where it should have been, I think, a year ago when it kind of launched. Um, the NVIDIA GPU stuff, which was launched on Ubuntu, is nice. But as I said, the vast majority of people, if you go through the stats page, are running it on Windows. So it's not necessarily that big a deal. Uh, so I think the next big things are they need to get GPU support into the, into the, into the software for Windows users. And then we really need some, desperately need some new use cases. So um, if that can be done, you know, I think it can do some great stuff, but there's no guarantees this will uh, ever kind of come to fruition. You know, I, I have, you know, I have, I hope that it will, but, you know, I don't have any great kind of hopes or any insider information or anything like that about what's going on. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have been running uh, Golem as a provider as well. Let me know uh, why you're doing if your um, if your results have been broadly similar to mine or if they've been um, dramatically different. It'd be really interested to know what other people's results have been over the last kind of year or so. Um, let me know if you're um, considering kind of running it. Um, as I said, you know, I'm keeping hold of my kind of like GNT. They're not really kind of worth a, a huge amount. So, you know, I'm happy to kind of keep hold of those and then see what the kind of use case is going forward are. But thanks very much for watching. As always, ask me any questions in the comments below and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.